The universe is a vast concept of space and time, encompassing all the matter, energy, and events we are in. But why does the universe exist in the first place, and why are we in it? Physicist Stephen Wolfram has an answer to this question. According to Wolfram, if we can decipher the language in which the universe is programmed, we will find the answer to this question. Wolfram is trying to find a rule to decipher the language in which the universe is programmed. If Wolfram succeeds, this could lead to a complete theory of physics that explains how the universe works. And this could be a scientific revolution like Newton's discovery of the universal law of gravity and calculus mathematics. Let's take a closer look at Wolfram's theory. First of all, Wolfram's starting point is the question, what is space? According to Wolfram, space consists of a network of interconnected nodes. How each node is connected to other nodes near and far can create a space of any dimension. Therefore, like the surface area of a sphere, if the number of nodes increases by the square of the distance to any node, it has the properties of known 3D space. According to Wolfram, the universe starts with an infinite number of dimensions and gradually cools down to the size we have today. The network of nodes, or space atoms, is the minimum stuff needed to create the universe. In addition to the network of nodes, Wolfram thinks some rules change the network. For example, a rule would say, wherever there is a certain pattern of nodes, replace it with another pattern of nodes. The repeated application of these rules binds the space together. This is so miraculous that this process has the power to create all the matter in the universe and all the laws of physics that we have discovered. What inspired Wolfram to develop this theory were cellular automata, which are simple computer programs. These are one-dimensional lines of squares, each of which can be either empty or filled. A rule is applied that replaces one particular square pattern with another. In this way, new lines of squares are created. Studying cellular automata, Wolfram observed persistent features moving along the evolving cellular grid, in some cases reminiscent of real-world subatomic particles. The real surprise for Wolfram during his observations was that there were a few rules that created never-ending complexity. His immediate thought was, is this how the universe creates a rose or a newborn baby or a galaxy? Is it merely applying a simple program over and over again? On the other hand, according to Wolfram, most of what the universe does is computationally irreducible. In other words, the entire process of the formation of the universe can only be discovered by running a computer program for 13.8 billion years. But according to Wolfram, there are some exceptions to this. These exceptions are computationally reducible islands within the computation that makes up the universe, where it is possible to deduce the result without actually running the program. Wolfram calls these islands shortcuts, and he thinks that these shortcuts are the very laws of physics that we have discovered. The problem with cellular automata is that they work on a pre-existing network. The space, in Wolfram's theory, is something more fundamental, a network that updates itself. Networks have permanent properties, like vortices in water, and they are matter. Ultimately, everything emerges from space. Then, there's time, which is a step-by-step -step computational process. According to Wolfram, time and space are not the same things and the universe is generated by all possible programs running simultaneously. So even if we find a particular program that generates the universe, it doesn't exclude other possible programs. According to Wolfram, humans as biological beings are also part of the self-updating network of space. This is why we cannot observe the universe from the outside. Most importantly, our fundamental limitations do not allow us to see the atoms of space. 
Instead, we see the atoms of space bound together in a smooth continuum. This continuum is also described by general relativity. In Einstein's theory of general relativity, masses such as planets follow the shortest path through space-time or the geodesic path. Space-time is also bent by the presence of energy. According to Wolfram, this energy is the amount of activity going on at any given position on the web. And it is this calculation that ultimately bends the geodesics of large masses. Wolfram claims that general relativity, with its geodesics bent by energy momentum in normal space, is exactly the same as a quantum theory with its geodesics bent by energy momentum in branchial space. So according to Wolfram, general relativity and quantum theory are essentially the same theory. On the other hand, Wolfram thinks that his work also confirms the holographic principle. Because according to the holographic principle, quantum theory and general relativity are closely related. And quantum theory manifests itself as general relativity in a higher dimensional space. Wolfram also suspects that black holes may spin faster than standard physics allows. And as a result of this faster spinning, he believes that whole chunks of space-time could break off. Besides all this, of course, the most important question Wolfram is trying to answer is why is there a universe? Wolfram thinks that the universe can exist in the same sense that mathematics exists. Mathematics consists of a set of data or axioms and conclusions that can be drawn from them by applying the rules of logic or theorems. The universe is similarly the logical result of applying all possible rules to a network of disembodied nodes. In other words, its existence is inevitable just as 1 and 1 is equal to 2 is inevitable. Of course, we experience the universe as something concrete not something abstract like the structure of mathematics. But because we are made of the same stuff as the universe, everything seems to us to be solidly real. In short, according to Wolfram, the language in which the universe is programmed is also its raison d'être.